seven affordable outfits, how to look chic on a budget this February 2021. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and the second episode in my new series, Chic on a Budget, with seven affordable outfit ideas and how I would style them. Each month I scour the high street to bring you outfit ideas and inspiration to help you look chic, put together and elegant without breaking the bank. Also last month I held a giveaway to celebrate the launch of this series so I shall be announcing the winner of that a little bit later in this video. If you're not already subscribed, I would be very grateful if you'd like to do so. And also at the end of this video, don't forget to click the link in the description box below to see my daily style pictures over on Instagram. So let's get started with outfit number one. According to Vogue, a checked blazer is one of the smartest style investments you could make, and I couldn't agree more. And while I don't mind saving my pennies for the perfect blazer, that's not to say you can't find something equally chic on a budget. I bought this Prince of Wales check blazer recently, down from an already affordable 48 pounds to 36 pounds. This jacket is very much a boyfriend blazer, so pretty loose and oversized. Of course, that's one of the trends we're going to be seeing for this 2021, but I wanted to share how I would most likely be styling it. So as you can see, I've paired it with my skinny fit jeans so I can keep the bottom half of me quite slimline as the top half is quite oversized. Blazers are just a real staple for me in my capsule wardrobe. I tend to reach for them on a weekly basis, whatever the weather's doing. When you're wanting to focus on looking chic on a budget, that old mantra of buying the best quality you can afford really comes into play. Now that could mean a whole variety of fabrics depending on your budget. So you could go from tensile, which is really affordable, 100% cotton, viscose, wool blends. Whatever your budget, focus on fabric content and the cut to really get the best out of that shape. Now, if you're wanting to upgrade your work from home outfits, but you still want the comfort of loungewear, I think I have just the piece. This full length tie waist dress is definitely ticking lots of boxes for me. Now it's been made from a lovely jersey modal fabric, which is really comfortable and flattering to wear. I like the fact that the sleeves are three quarter length, both from a practical but also styling point of view. And then this tie waist is an interesting finer detail that helps give you more shape than say a traditional jersey dress would. And on top of all of that, it's a ready-made outfit in one that's retailing under a hundred pounds. Now, as always with these videos, I'll show you a few outfit ideas from pieces I actually have and a couple of outfit ideas from pieces on my wish list. So next up is an affordable outfit idea that I have currently sat in various different shopping carts. Blush pinks and greys, when combined together, can make a really lovely colour combination. So when I spotted this gentle take on a biker jacket, I decided to do just that. Made from suede, this biker jacket takes on a softer feel, both aesthetically and literally and the colour only helps emphasise that. Greys, soft blues, mint even. But I decided to go with a soft blush pink to really bring out the warmth in that shade. Picking out that grey element, I went with straight leg crop jeans in a light grey and also a great pair of ankle boots I found at ASOS. Yes, they're high and I'm imagining they would kill my feet, but I think they look amazing, so I'd be more than happy to suffer for them. When it comes to looking chic on a budget, there's one place that's often forgotten, the supermarket. I kid you not, there are gems to be had. Granted, it might take a while sifting through all the lovely Diamante creations, but trust me, there's always one or two treasures to be had, it's just a matter of finding them. But I've saved you the time and found this pretty little blouse from George at Asda. And even better, it's not even polyester like you would imagine. It's been made from 100% viscose. There are a few too many brands marketing themselves as designer, trying to fob us off with 100% polyester. So to find this made from 100% viscose in my local supermarket was definitely a happy surprise. I like this bubble texture to the fabric. I have a feeling that's called Swiss dot, I might be wrong. And this frill detail that comes from the back of the shoulder all the way over down the front here. The sleeves are three quarter with a nice bell shape and I'd probably always leave that undone. This kind of tone would look lovely with white throughout summer, but as you can see for today, I've paired it with some light wash blue denim jeans. 
One thing I will say is that the online version of supermarkets clothing collections is far better than when you go in store. They tend to be really selective about who they send certain pieces to. So London, for example, might get the core collection, those really on-trend pieces, and us in the sticks might get a load of rubbish. So it's worth looking online at their full collection rather than the bits and pieces you might find in your local supermarket. Shopping for sales is, of course, a great way to find the odd diamond in the rough. And I must admit, I actually prefer shopping for sales online rather than in the stores, which is lucky really as lockdown three is currently going on and I'm not allowed to go anywhere anyway. But I like to be able to take my time and calmly think about the pieces I need, adding them to basket, taking them out, rather than being in store and getting distracted by shiny things along the way. Case in point to my next affordable outfit, which I think and hope will make me look chic on a budget, a lovely pair of slingbacks. I wanted to find a nice pair of slingbacks for a while, and though these were really affordable in the first place, I actually managed to pick them up in the sale too, so even better. So as you've seen in this footage, I would definitely wear them with the first outfit I showed you. I think that works really nicely together, certainly when I want to look more smart. And secondly, pairing them with an outfit that I don't think would immediately spring to mind, but one that I think works equally well. Now obviously I haven't had the chance to walk in them all day long to test out their comfort factor, but so far so good around the house. I'm holding out hope that this smaller heel will make them a lot more wearable than some of the other heels I've got in my wardrobe. Now if you saw my haul and review I did of COS recently on my channel, you'd have seen these lovely chino trousers I bought for under £70. Made from organic cotton and with that perfect 2021 loose fit, I have to say they're one of my favourite new in pieces in my wardrobe. In fact, I've worn them so much recently, I thought I'd share another way I would style them for when I want to look chic on a budget. So this time, as you can see, I've styled them with a white jumper. This is made from cotton, and I got it in the winter, actually, from Phase 8. So again, really affordable. I'm not sure if they've still got stock of that, so if they haven't got any left, I shall link some alternatives that are along a similar price point in the description box below. On my feet, I've added my high-top Converse trainers, a classic, of course, but they're an item that always seems to freshen up an outfit. I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who entered my Chic on a Budget giveaway last month. The winner should be popping up on the screen right now. Huge congratulations, you have won a £100 voucher to spend at Mango. In this next wish list affordable outfit, I found this viscose bow tie blouse at La Redoute. I love bow tie blouses. I find them really elegant and easy to integrate into outfit ideas. And bought in the right shade, they can create hugely chic looks. Now I decided to turn this into a smart but casual workwear look. That's assuming you can get away with jeans in the office, but if you can't, just switch them out for maybe a cigarette pant or a nice pair of slim leg trousers. Now the previous ankle boots I found would look great with this look as well, but this time I decided to go a little bit more polished, sophisticated, with a great pair of heels I found. The heel isn't too high on these, so I'm hopeful they could be worn all day with ease. A blazer or a jacket would really elevate this entire outfit again. And for one more sprinkle of polish, I found this simple but elegant crossbody handbag at Mango. All the individual pieces to this outfit would mix and match with lots of things I've already got in my capsule wardrobe. And together, I think they make one classy and chic outfit idea for the office. I really hope you've enjoyed this edition of affordable outfits and how to look chic on a budget. I would love to hear from you in the comments section below. Do let me know your favorite piece that I found today, or maybe your favorite outfit was the one I compiled from my wish list. It's always really lovely to hear everyone's different opinions. Huge congratulations again to the winner of my giveaway. And for more videos like this, if you're not already subscribed, it would be lovely if you'd like to do so. I shall be back in a couple of days with lots more outfit ideas and styling advice. So hopefully you will join me then. Take care.